Jamie, pleased to have this one sorted. It, it's taken a while, not necessarily because of international clearance, but you've you've been around the group for some time, haven't you? Getting yeah, yeah. Ready. I've been uh, been around the group probably since the end of last year, and uh, been doing rehab. I've had an injury with my shoulder, and um, it's been nice to be in and around the boys for so long. And grateful to Josh for everything he's done. But um, there's a great group of lads here, so. I'm happy to finally get something done. Really. Can you tell us a little bit about the background to that injury? Because obviously it, it meant a difficult end to your time in Scotland, but it, yeah. it's unusual, I guess, to spend a while with a group before formalising things, because it wasn't so much a trial, it was a case of we want to get you better and we want to get yeah. you involved. Um, yeah, I mean, I dislocated my shoulder uh, toward my last game at Aldershot, and I was sort of halfway through a move with St Mirren, um, and it was an issue that I needed surgery on, but couldn't at the time uh, so eventually it's just kept being an ongoing issue and I had to get it sorted so that's that's the reasoning behind it really so something that just happens in football isn't it so. and in terms of taking the right approach to that I mean it may have taken a while but you've been able to get that sorted and finally get it behind you yeah yeah I mean I probably still couldn't lift much but uh, no, it's, it's all good now probably even on both sides so it shouldn't really be holding me back anymore which is good so I'm excited to get going You've had a unique perspective on this season, of course. Plenty of different managers, coaches, yeah. plenty of people at the top of the table, so to speak. But the one recurring theme is that everyone's wanted you involved, which must be a really pleasing feeling. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's it's been really nice. I mean, um, Kiddy, I've been I've been asked to come into Kiddy for a couple of years now, um, and it just wasn't the right time for me to do it. I had uh, things which were you know always chasing the carrot sort of thing. Um, but I'm I'm happy to be and I've been away from home for quite a long time and uh, it's nice to be back and I want I'm excited to try and get us back up the leagues and um, do well and see out this season. The lads have done brilliantly since Russ has taken over and everyone wants him to do well and succeed, which is why the results have really picked up. So, and we mentioned the changing faces ma managerially, so to speak. Yeah. But Russ has made sorting your priority, hasn't he? Which again it is another boost for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, I played against Russ a few times, so uh, he's probably given me the run around more than me than me to giving him it. Um, but no, he's he's a really good guy, um, and like I said, everyone, I think everyone within the club really wants him to do well, um, which is an added bonus for the players. It gives them more of an incentive on the weekend to go and play for somebody that you you know you believe in, um, which is good for everyone really. Talking about your career, people will know you certainly at this level and the level above having established established yourself with the likes of older shot. But in truth, you're a local lad, really, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I've uh, lived in Kidderminster since I was seven. Um, so my family's all here. Um, yeah, I've known know quite a lot. It's, that's that's why it's not really been strange for me coming into um, into the group with the boys. It, I mean. You're just almost daunting going into a new club, but I felt like I already knew so much about the club that it wasn't. You know, I could I could freely talk about everything. Um, so yeah, it's it's been all right really. And you were speaking just previously about the fact that not to use the word supporter as such, but you came for a couple of seasons and and watched games here when you were younger and experienced, yeah. I guess, the kind of feeling that we're trying to bring back to the club. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, to the detriment of my mum, she probably hated going, but uh, no, just, I, I I was always loved football, so Arias was the first sort of club that I was following, um, and it was great. And that's yeah, like you say, I I do believe that the club is. Um, is in a league that's they're in a false position really. It's a great setup. Um, the lads are really really lucky to have the facilities that they've got and stuff. Um, and we need to do the most that we can to get us back in the right position, which hopefully we can start doing. Now I know there'll be a real enthusiasm from the management and yourself to get game time and to get yeah. going. Now is it important to view your arrival, I guess, in the semi long term really, rather than worrying about sandwiching in too many minutes? You've got to be eased in, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I, as a footballer, you just want to play every weekend. Uh, I think it would be it would be silly to just go and play every game um, now. But like as you say, it's more about me sort of getting back up to as good as I can, really hit the ground running uh, next year. Um, but whilst I'm in as well, I, I, you know, there's a young group there. Hopefully, my experience of everything that's gone on in the past can help them and um, see if we can get them to improve as well and they, they have been, they've been absolutely excellent since I've come in um, and long may that continue really.
And is there a feeling generally that, as you say, you viewed the entire season more or less from the outside, or yeah. kind of one foot in in each of the camps? That you know, there's lots of ingredients with which to not only have a strong end to this season, but take some momentum going forward. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I mean. You, if you do the things right on a week to week basis that will carry on and carry on it just becomes normal and um, you know since I think since January maybe the, the results have really picked up and you've noticed that there's definitely been a change since you know the end of last year um, with mentality in the dressing room and stuff and uh, you know they've, they've, they've had to do it themselves because there's, there's quite a lot of young players in there really um, with not much ma- massive experience um, and sometimes when you are chucked in the deep end and things aren't going well that can sort of rebound and you can bounce back double um, which is what I think we should really be aiming for now is really see the season out strong and then be the ones to beat next year. It's become a bit as a bit of a cliche as the season here has rolled on but an excellent result and performance at Southport yeah. we're still awaiting back to back wins it'd be great to go to Leamington and, and follow that up wouldn't it? Yeah definitely uh, that's, that's what it's about. You just take every game as it comes. Don't think about the one after that. You know, um, there's points to be won again. So go out and do it. And everyone's playing for themselves and the club. You know, you're playing for your, your next contract and stuff. So keep doing everything that you're doing, really. That's what I'd say.